lettuce stuff was a bit weird the other week, wasn't it? Lettuce, lettuce, Alan Fettis, new brush holders and a mattress. Especially when my wife told me and showed me that actually that was a cabbage, not a lettuce. Anyway, back to normal this week with 10 Christmas gift ideas for that person in your life who seems to have almost everything. But first, this. lettuce themed abandoned items a fortnight ago, I referenced a loo brush that retails at £779. I actually found another that costs £1150 for a loo brush. But I'm not suggesting you buy either of them. That's clearly insane and it's a terrible indictment of our awful consumerist society that either loo brush even exists. Although do want one. But I am suggesting that you buy this one for someone from John Lewis. Look, it looks like a pot plant and it's only £35.20. It's the perfect way for someone to display their loo brush without it looking like a loo brush. And if there's one present not given enough at Christmas, it's loo brushes. You're welcome. I can thoroughly recommend merch from Bin Day Brewing Company, run by YouTube Goliath Robbie Knox and YouTube David Mike Miller. They're selling really lovely fat pint glasses and also beautiful t-shirts. Robbie actually asked me to do some modelling for them, as you can see here, but for some reason he's not using my pics on the website, which is a little upsetting. Anyway. This is not a paid endorsement, but Robbie did say if I gave the Binday merch a plug on this video, he'd tweet about it. So, if you're here from Robbie's tweet, which he definitely wrote himself, welcome. This next thing is at the pricier end of the market, but unless you have really wealthy friends or friends who live in Sweden, they're pretty unlikely to have their own sauna. So, why not buy them their own portable sauna for under £180? Here it is! I got really excited at the idea of this being portable. I thought it meant you could literally go about your daily life while existing inside the sauna, which is an invention I've been waiting for for my entire life. But sadly, it just means you can fold it up after saunaing, as this handy diagram proves. And indeed, it's the pictures that go along with this product that I really love. Look, it's so versatile that not only can you go inside it to get warm, you can also sit next to it while doing something else, as long as it's yoga. And look at these details. I get that the wooden thing is a foot massager and the chair is for sitting on inside your hot tent, but why do you get a collection of what appears to be some old coins? Cash back! This image is tremendous. It's a picture of a chair with an outline of a human body so that you can get a proper handle on how a chair works and how humans use chairs. And as an added bonus, it has this, a convenient pocket. Usually pockets in saunas are pretty inconvenient. So this is a bit of a godsend. But absolutely best of all is the image of a perfectly quaffed woman enjoying the sauna. Because if you look really closely, she's been photoshopped in. I cannot, for the life of me, understand why this happened. Could they not get a single person to sit inside it? Or worse, and actually more likely, was the person they originally photographed in the sauna tent, later deemed not attractive enough, and so they replaced that person with a stock photo of someone more attractive. Oh well, it's absolutely brilliant anyway. If I hadn't already got all my gifts, I'd certainly be buying this for someone. This thing is called a Hush Me, a sort of robot mask that stops people hearing what you're saying on the phone, except for the person you're speaking to on the phone, by, I think, sucking all your words into its scary electronic abyss before squirting them back out into the ears of your friend, colleague or loved one. 
So, if you want to help your partner make secret phone calls more easily and without hiding in the shed, this is the gift for you. The best thing here is their attempt to link their product to Christmas with the tagline, privately celebrate your holidays with your loved ones. Because nothing says celebrate or Christmas quite like a clandestine conversation with your loved ones from behind a sort of modern day Hannibal Lecter mask. This next item is a truly ethical gift. A bird cake making kit with materials made from 10 recycled yoghurt pots. In my head, you'd buy this for a granddad, and he and the grandkids can make the bird cakes together on Boxing Day, next to a warm fire, while drinking cocoa, wearing Christmassy jumpers, eating quality streets, and with the Wizard of Oz on in the background, and just chuckling together. Chuckling warmly, while I doze on the sofa, horrifically drunk on mulled wine and cognac. Christ, it's warming my cockles just thinking about it. I absolutely love these next guys, Sean and Alex, who draw their own wonky versions of Panini football stickers. They are joyously horrific. These are some of my favourites. This Neil Warnock is an unbelievable representation of this nightmarish gif. Here's Harry Maguire looking absolutely horrendous. This is Gareth Southgate in um, mid-werewolf transition. This is a lovely Mick McCarthy. And of course, there's Richard Keogh, because all QPR fans love Richard Keogh. And this look is exactly how he looked in the split second before his clearance reached Bobby Zamora in the 2014 Championship Playoff Final. Buxton puts it into an area. Keogh, Zamora! Get in! You can buy posters or mugs of your loved one's favourite team, or if they don't like football, these guys will draw whoever you want if you offer them enough money to do it. So you could, I suppose, give the gift of a sort of terrifyingly ugly family tree and you could all look at it on Christmas Day and then someone in the family would take it the wrong way and get upset and then it'd be really awkward while you had your Christmas dinner. Lovely. I don't know about you, but I have massive hands. Look, absolutely huge, great big hands. Now. I'm an expert in washing up, as I've proven. Proven? Proved? To you before. But uh, even I, with all my abilities, find it very difficult when working with my Vileda Super Sponge to get my massive hands inside our delicate wine glasses to clean them properly, especially the ones that my wife prefers to use for Prosecco. So these cleaning brushes are an absolute godsend. And look, they don't just work on wine glasses, they do everything from beer glasses to glass jars. And if you have any doubts over how these products work, the manufacturers have provided these helpful photographs. Basically, you put the brush inside the glass and move it around. It really is that simple. If someone you love, or even just someone you like, has often said that they wish they could just pick up a lemon and press a button on the top so that its sour juices would spray out in a beautiful tasty mist all over a salad maybe or even perhaps in someone's eyes as part of a prank then this lemon spray gadget thing would make a perfect gift for them because that's what it does look there's even a video to prove you can spray it on the sides of glasses or on different kinds of food it's like Febreze but with fruit. Books are always the best present because books are awesome. The problem is there are literally millions to choose from because people have been writing books for centuries and a lot of them are rubbish. But these two are not. So if your loved one is a football fan, or even if they're not, why not buy them both of these books by John Smith and me, Dan Trelfer. Loads of people, from Frank Skinner to 
Alex Horn think they are great. Plus, I will receive about 25p for each book sold. Alternatively, I can't recommend this Taskmaster book highly enough either. It's brilliant, and the silver head has not yet been found. Information correct at the time of recording. Of course, you could just ignore all these ideas and just buy everyone an emergency supplies box from UNICEF. Your loved one won't get this box, of course. That'll go to people who need them. But I guarantee the person who has everything can never get enough of the feeling of having done something good. Have a great holiday season. And I'll see you again just before the new year for another edition of this popular vlog. Bye-bye.